Imagine a bank account that paid in £86,400 into your account every single day. Now you could do whatever you wanted with that money. You could spend it on whatever you wanted to spend it on. And every single day, another £86,400 will be paid into your account. But there's a catch. The catch is, at the end of the day, if you haven't spent it, it gets wiped. And then the next day it gets paid in again. Paul, because I had a one-to-one -one with Paul, so I'm going to pick on him. <laughs> Paul, does Santander have such an account? No. You should, you should look into that. You should look into that. That's a really good idea. <laughs> So if you had this £86,400 paid into your account every single day, what would you do with it? Cliff, what would you do to make sure you got the most out of that money? No idea. No idea. It's not as easy to spend as you think. <laughs> yeah, well, I could do it. Toys R Us are having a closing down sale. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger house. Gonna need a, yeah, the wife keeps telling me that. One thing you could do is you could draw all the money out, put it into another account. That way, when it gets wiped, there's nothing to get wiped. You don't lose any of it. Now, what if I told you there is a bank that does that? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. It's, it's, def it's definitely not Santander, no. It's definitely not yours, it's, it's not mine, unfortunately, no. It's called time. Every single day, you are given 86,400 seconds. And you can do with them whatever you want. You can spend them with your family. You can spend them watching TV. You can spend them working, driving your car, eating, sleeping, whatever you want to do. And at the end of the day, if you haven't used them wisely, they get wiped. And then you get another 86,400 seconds the next day to do with whatever you want to do. And how you spend that time is very important. So you might be thinking, yeah, you're damn right. What am I doing here at this time of the morning? Why am I wasting my time here and not spending it asleep or eating? Well, that's the key. You see, with BNI and other networking, it's not about coming here to waste your time or to spend it listening to me prattling on. It's to make sure you leverage your time properly so that you're not doing the things that you don't need to be doing. When you have a one-to-one -one with someone, you're spending an hour of your time teaching them what they need to do to find you more business so that you are not out wasting your time finding more business. They are doing it for you. When you come to this meeting, you've got 15 other people sat around the room, all of whom are your sales force. How you spend your 60 seconds is what's necessary to teach them so that they can go out and find you the business that you need. Coming to BNI is about leveraging your time so that you are not wasting it doing the things that you don't need to do. It's not about talking to loads of people. It's not about going to loads of networking events. It's not about giving out loads of business cards. It's about building the business relationships with the right people that are going to get a constant stream of referrals for you to transform your business and take it to the next level. It's your time. Don't waste it.